Hi guys, welcome to today's video. So I am doing a a car video. Um, I am at my doctor's appointment and um, I'm early so I thought that I would um, just talk to you guys for a minute. Um, I want to talk to you about the narcissist walking on eggshells when you're not even in the same home as the narcissist. Like they're out of the home and they still have that manipulation and control over you because you've been in the relationship for such a long period that in your brain you feel like you have to answer the phone or you feel like you have to read a text or return the text. And that's, that's the hardest part of getting away from the narcissist is the no contact. And when you can't go fully no contact, it makes it so hard so even though you're not in the home with the narcissist and um, you know you're you're not able to go fully no contact yet because of finances because you own a home together you're separated um, maybe you're not married maybe you're married but um, whatever the circumstances are it's it, you can't go no contact right now um, you can go minimal no contact which is kind of saving you um, a little peace of mind, but in order for you to fully heal, we have to have no contact at all. So don't beat yourself up and feel like, oh my God, I'm never going to heal. Like it's never going to happen. It's going to happen. It's just taking a little bit longer now because whatever your circumstances are that you can't fully go no contact with them. So, um, Man, the only thing I, the only thing you can do um, is tell yourself, okay, this this is temporary. This is temporary. You've gotten past the hardest part of the separation or the moving forward without the narcissist. And I'm sure you've tried anything and everything to work things out with the narcissist to avoid. You know, you don't want to stay in a toxic relationship. You don't want to talk the narcissist into making it work, you know, because you're the one, you know, doing the hoovering and you're the one who's saying, well, we need to talk. Like, we need to have some closure. You're never going to get closure. But, um, you know, we need to have a heart to heart so that we can both move forward and cut all this, the dance, round and round and round and round you go. Um, it's tormenting it's a nightmare and another thing the narcissist knows that they still have control over you if you're still answering their calls and you're still having the arguments with them and you're still defending yourself this is the one thing that you need to do okay this is probably the one thing that's going to save you right now other than no contact is change you know what we want people to treat us you know how we treat them right treat people how you want to be treated blah 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 that's that's bullshit that 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 doesn't even pertain to you know the narcissist relationship that that's irrelevant to the narcissist um they don't care about that they 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 could care less they couldn't care less <laughs> um about you and the only thing you can do is fight fire with fire um, stand up for yourself, you know, get ugly, get mad, you know, stop, stop saying I did everything for this relationship. I gave everything, you know, I did all these things, even though you were mean to me and, you know, you're justifying your, 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 you know, coming to bat for yourself, you know, you're explaining away, you know, why, you know, wh why can't you see this? Like everybody says, you know, that I'm, you know, the best thing that ever happened to you. Everybody says that I'm beautiful. What's wrong with, what's wrong with them? You know, why are they treating you like that? Like you don't deserve that. Like you deserve, you know, the world, you're a queen. Like, you know, what are they thinking? Well, the narcissist isn't thinking with, they're not, they're not playing with the full deck. Okay. They are not in their right mind. The person that you see, the person that you fell in love with is not really, that's a facade. That wasn't really them. That was the mask that they wore to get you. And once they got you, then the mask fell off and hi. 
stand your ground stay strong you got this it's been a long road and I don't know how long of a journey you've been on I don't know when your relationship ended if you're already out of you know the fog and out of the narcissistic you know relationship and I hope you you're at the other side um, you know we can all just hope and dream to be at the other side but you do see a light at the end of the tunnel even if it's a pinhead size of light you see it and I know you do um, but stand your ground stay mad get mad remember the things that they said to you remember how they just walked out and said you know what I don't care what you think or think what you want you know um, I don't owe you anything remember all those things that they said to you just keep remembering and don't think about the good times because the bad times outweighed the good times I promise you I don't have to know your situation to know that the bad times probably outdo way outweigh the good times so get a piece of paper sit down and write throughout your whole entire relationship you know just to just to make sure for yourself just so that you're not saying gosh well did I should I tried longer should I waited longer like a year, two years, three years, six years, ten years, um, six months even, you know, that's long enough. You know, if they don't, if, if they're not treating you good within X amount of time, if they're being ugly to you and not caring about you and, you know, they're risking losing you, do they really love you? Did they ever love you? think about it I'm not saying that you know at some point they didn't you know because they did love you in the beginning I don't know if it was love or if it was control or if it was trying to prove you know wow like you know I got this beautiful woman on my arm or the woman saying "Ooh, I got this hot guy and you know he left his wife for me or he broke up with his girlfriend for me, you know. And, of course, all their exes are crazy. All their exes cheated on them. You know what they do is they tell you everything they did to their ex. They tell you the horror stories of what their exes did to them. In actuality, it's what, more or less, what they did to them. It's not the other way around. So... You're like, oh, God, really? Dang, like, I just know that you have sleepless nights, and I know you wake up off and on all night long at 2, 3 in the morning, and you're laying in bed by yourself. You know, use this time to focus on you. Don't look at it um, as, I'm alone, I'm lonely, like, you know, everybody else is, you know, they're happy, they're married, they're going and doing things together. These are the things we should be doing, you know. Use this time that you can just do whatever you want, you know. You don't have to make dinner if you don't feel like it. You you can stay in your pajamas and not brush your teeth and, um, you know, s stay in bed all day. Like, you know, you can use this time for you, Um that's all you can do is make yourself better. Make yourself the person that you want to meet. Do you know what I mean? I know it's cliche, but do that for yourself. Think about if you're a female and you're in a relationship with a narcissist, okay, and let's say they cheated on you and you're like, oh my God, like, I know I'm not the best thing, but I am all that in a bag of chips, you know, like, and they're not that great looking. You're like, you cheated on me like really but think about the kardashians okay i'm going to use that as an example for women who are in relationships with narcissists and get cheated on look at chloe look how many times her guy tristan cheated on her like seven or eight times like she's beautiful she's got money you know like it doesn't matter who you are it doesn't matter what you look like narcissistic toxic people are going to do it to no matter who it's not about us it's about them they are the crazy psychotic delusional
in the end, they are going to kick themselves. With women, this is what happens with women in toxic relationships. We hurt. We start hurting while we're being mistreated. We start hurting while we're being abused. Our hurt starts way, you know, in the relationship before, you know, we finally separate or we finally go our separate ways or whatever. Like the pain is going on way before the narcissist even feels any type of anything. And then by the time we're almost there and almost over the hump, that's when they start feeling the pain. And that's just, that's how it is. Like, that's the truth. That's the reality of it is men in general, specifically, they don't start feeling the pain until we're already almost over our pain. And by then it's too late. It's too late by that point. Now, I'm sure it goes, and I'm sure it's vice versa. I'm sure it's the same, you know, with, with men. I'm not going to just pick on men. Um, because there are a lot of female narcissists. I know several female narcissists and, um, you know, it's, it's just, it's just sad. It's really, it's just so sad that this is what actually goes on in the world, in relationships. Why does it have to be that way? You know, God created Adam and Eve and we're supposed to co-create and we're supposed to be, you know, happy with one another, you know, men and women, but it's a fight. It's a fight. You know, why does every day have to be a fight? But you know what? Just stay strong. You guys hold on, hold on to you've been through worse times and you're going to do this. You're going to get through this time too. But back to the walking on eggshells when you're not even in the same home, that's serious, serious trauma bond. That's serious, man, you know, the, if you were together for a, a, a long time, like they have a serious hold on you, but we got to cut that cord, cut the cord, cut the cord, cut the cord, because at this point, it's you or them. At this point, it's your life or their life. You have to choose you. You're not going to go out without a fight, are you? Are you going to throw the towel in after all you've been through, after all you've put up with, after all, you know, you've gotten through, all this, the crying nights, all the, you know, no appetite, all the losing hair, you know, <clears throat> I always say, um, you know, I'm going to post a picture of me where I, how I looked like I was like 110 pounds and I looked, I really looked like I was sick. Like I looked deathly I, I and then I look at pictures like going you know at a restaurant or somebody's birthday whatever and you know people take pictures all the time of course and put it on social media and I'm like I'm one of those people where I'm like I'm not going to put that on social media but when you have other people taking pictures of you and they're going to do whatever they want to do like I'm like please don't post that of me like please and then I see the pictures I'm like oh my god like you want to know what a toxic, unhealthy, abusive relationship looks like? Look at this picture. Look at this picture of me. Looking back at the pictures reminds me. I have to keep looking at those pictures. Reminds me of how serious relationships are. Toxic relationships. Mentally abusive relationships. That's what they look like. Well, I have to go in now, so I just wanted to touch base with you guys. I know that, um, you know, we just got over Valentine's Day and all the holidays, and I know it's been a rough road for, for everybody dealing with breakups or, you know, you're in the middle of a toxic uh, relationship, but I know it's been really hard, you know, since Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's, like it's just been one thing after another. I hate the, I don't hate the holidays, but it's just been like one holiday after the next, you know, heartache, 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 stabbing at you, stabbing at you. So I love you guys so much. Please leave me your comments, your questions, your suggestions. Let me know what you guys think about all of this and um, stay strong. You're not alone. Please remember that more than anything. You're not alone reach out. I will interact. I'll answer your questions and conversate with you. So I love you and I look forward.